Louise Lear, hello. It was very nippy, George, this morning. Hello. It was the coldest night in England so far this winter period. This is minus eight in parts of rural Oxfordshire. But all change for tomorrow. We lose that glorious sunshine. It will be a cloudy start. It's going to be rather dull and, for many of us, wet as well. Here's the cloud and the rain arriving from the Atlantic. But it was beautiful for most of us today. Lots of sunshine coming through. An early frost because we keep the clear skies for a time. But the cloud will gather from the west, perhaps just staying cold, frosty and potentially with some freezing fog in the southeast. But the winds pick up, the rain arrives into Northern Ireland and Western Scotland and it's going to be pretty mild here, 6 to 8 degrees. Now down into the London area, we keep those temperatures close to freezing and potentially if we get some freezing fog, it could be an issue for your early morning rush hour. Further south, the cloud gathers, the rain arrives. It'll be patchy across Cornwall and into West Wales first thing in the morning, the same too for North West England. But some of that rain heavy through Northern Ireland and west facing coast of Scotland and it will gradually drift its way steadily eastwards. Now, perhaps the far north of Scotland, you may well escape the worst of the weather. It'll move in from the west, gradually drifting its way eastwards. Not too much in the way of heavy, persistent rain as it does so. And uh, perhaps down across East Anglia in the southeast corner, it may well stay dry during daylight hours with some glimpses of sunshine. Colder here, but look at the mild <coughs> air into the west. 10 or 11 degrees likely into the afternoon and it's that mild air that pushes the cold back to the continent and is really in the driving seat for the start of the weekend so all change into that weekend it stays pretty cloudy it stays quite mild but it'll be largely dry just bits and pieces of drizzle from time to time george thank you louise and that's all from the bbc's news at six so it's goodbye from me